Hi guys, it's been a few days since I received the new DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Days I spent taking a closer look at the drone. Today I was underway with it in order to test all three cameras for you. Therefore I got a little closer to a common TV tower to show you the difference between the three cams as each of them have a different focal length. We will see how this will affect our footage. Let's jump right into the video. If you like what you see, then help the channel to grow and subscribe. Okay, here we go. On the right side, we can set which camera we want to shoot with. In the moment, I use the 24mm wide angle camera. Above, we can switch to the regular camera with 70mm or the 74 telecam with a focal length of 166mm. I'll select the subject by dragging a band on the display in order to activate the spotlight mode. The tower is automatically kept in the center of the screen. So you only need to use the right stick for moving the drone either to the left or to the right. It will automatically start circling and the communication tower stays always in focus. And that's how the footage looks like when using the wide lens with a 24mm focal length. With this camera you can show the subject as well as the surrounding at the same time. However, I would like to show you the tower a bit more closely. With the DJI Mavic 3 Pro I have two options. First one is to fly closer. However, this is allowed in this particular example, there are many situations where it isn't. Like flying close to busy beach lines or flying next to infrastructures of transportation and power. Also, when getting closer, we still have the wide angle of the 24mm cam, which might be boring all the time. In that case, we can choose the second option and switch to the 70mm medium telecam. Therefore, we stop the recording and the spotlight mode and click right hand side to the number 3. And again, selecting the comm tower, activate spotlight and start circling. The tower now is much bigger and the wide angle effect is less. As you can see, the tower stands out a bit from the slightly blurred background, which creates a completely different effect. Let's check the direct comparison again. Here we have the 24mm wide angle cam with a lot of background and switch back to the 70mm medium telecam with less background and more subject. Okay, then let's switch to 166mm telecamera. Now we can see how close we are to the subject. The comm tower is pretty sharp and stands out even more from the blurred background. Even the Mavic 3 could do that with its two onboard cams. The visual gap between the wide angle and the tele shot was too big. Now with the medium focal length in between you can switch much nicer from the wide angle shot to the regular shot and then to the tele shot. Also, there's another advantage with the wide angle camera. You can record in 5K, which allows you to zoom in a bit without losing quality of the images. This could be treated as another focal length of 30 millimeters. For those who would like to zoom while recording, which is not very common on a professional basis, you can do this while turning the right wheel on the controller. This zoom is then done just digital. The further you digitally zoom into the video, the greater the loss of quality is. So you should not exaggerate this as you can see on my recordings. Also you can use those zooming functions for the so-called dolly zooming effect. To create this effect, you fly away from the subject and zoom in at the same time or vice versa. The aim is to keep the subject always on the same size while the background is moving. The result in a stretching of perspective depth creating the optical illusion of vertigo. This effect is also well known as vertigo effect from the Hitchcock movie Vertigo where this effect was used for the first time. Then let's have a look to the master shots. Those shots can only be done with a 24mm wide angle as well as the quick shots, which makes totally sense because they look most beautiful when having also a lot of background. As those shots are most common on all DJI drones, I just show them here in time lapse. Normally I prefer to fly myself instead of using prefabs, but especially for those of you that just want to have a few nice holiday shots, this is a simple and pretty useful option. Also the quick shots are a great opportunity for the lazy ones, 
because you always get a view nice shots without keeping the remote in your hands. I've just done the quick shots next to my car. Let's start with a drony quick shot where the drone moves upwards and backwards. With the rocket quick shots the drone moves directly upwards and tilts the cam straight down. While circle quick shot the drone moves at the current height around the subject. When using Helix Quick Shot, the Mavic 3 Pro circles as well the subject but also gains high and moves further away. With Boomerang Quick Shot, the drone also circles, gains high and moves further away, but from halfway point it descends again and returns to starting position. When using Asteroid Quick Shot, the drone moves backwards and upwards while tilting the cam down. At the highest point, the drone is creating a 360 spherical panorama. Afterwards, the software generates a movie with the tiny planet effect. Besides all of these great video functions, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro can for sure also be used for shooting photos. By default, the photos are taken with an aspect ratio of 4 to 3, which can be easily set to 16 to 9. In the AEG mode, the drone is taking 3 to 5 pictures in different exposures. Afterwards, you can use Lightroom or Photoshop in order to merge the pictures together. And this is how the photos look like compared to a single shot starting with the telecamera, the medium telecam and the default cam. In the area of special photos, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro provides different panoramic shots that could create interesting perspectives. The 360 spherical shot, the 180 panorama shot, the wide angle shot and the vertical shot. In all cases, the final picture is generated out of several single pictures taken by the drone. All of these shots can only be taken by the 24mm wide-angle camera. Like the Prevage models, the Mavic 3 Pro also has the option of active track. An object, like a car, is marked that is to be tracked. To select the object, I draw a band over the car again and then choose active track from the bottom menu. Now I have to select on which side of the object the drone should fly. All four directions are available. In this case I tell the drone to stay on the left hand side. And here we go. As you can see the drone always stays at the side of the car and follows it constantly. It is not possible to switch between the individual cameras while the recording is in progress. Nevertheless, this method offers great perspectives and action-packed shots. The drone has collision sensors in all directions as well as to the top and to the bottom. This sophisticated support function should help you creating special footage in rough terrain without always looking after your body. So I did a little field test and walked straight into a forest full of branches and leaves. As the entire trail took a little bit longer, I will show the whole thing in time lapse. It can be easily seen that I was pretty nervous on the one hand, however the drone was doing a good job. The Mavic easily dodged all obstacles coming in the way. Sometimes this leads to somewhat wiggly footage, but in principle the material should be usable. Anyway, a warning should be issued here from my side. Do not rely on this function with certainty because small and thin branches are not always recognized by the sensors and could be a killer of your drone. Once one of the props hits a branch you can be sure that the drone will be crashed, so be careful. Alright guys, that's it for today. Hope you are able to do something with the infos in the video. Finally some beautiful footage out of the Rapid field with all three cameras. What's your favorite Mavic 3 Pro cam? Drop me a comment and let me know. If you liked the video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.